Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Robert Whitekelt with EXP for another episode of Whitekelt Wednesday. Today is a, a special day. I've got a really, really just a wonderful person, a great friend. Uh, we've become great friends, uh, your husband and I, and Chris and I, and, and you, and we just have so much fun collaborating at these different events. Let's get right to it because you have you have a great story, Kim. First of all, who's Kim Frazier? Well, first of all, hi, Robert. Thank you so much for having me on your show today. I'm super honored to be here. So a little bit about myself. I am a wife first, and I am a mother of six children and a grandmother to eight beautiful little babies. So I love that. So in addition to my fabulous real estate career and business, I am a wife and a mother and a grandma. So that's a little bit of backstory behind me. I've been a licensed real estate agent. This is entering my 21st year, and I've been with EXP now about nine whole months. Nine months. I love it. So tell us that you've been with EXP for nine months. You've been a top producing agent uh, for the last 21 years. Yes. And let's tell us what led you to EXP? Well, a couple of years ago, I was um, asked by a gentleman to watch a little video and I had slightly declined because I was the number one agent in my company. Uh, I was formerly at John L. Scott, um, which is a Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and uh, in California now. And I was the number one agent the last two years and they left me alone, which I liked, had no intention of leaving, was not interested in a lateral move to like a Keller Williams or Windermere or Remax or anything like that. And so I was just pretty content wanted me to watch a video. I said, I politely declined, not interested. Well, fast forward a year and I decided to get my license in Texas and knowing that I needed to find an additional brokerage uh, for that license. Since we're not in Texas, uh, Adam, my sponsor had reached out to me a second time uh, saying, Hey, and via text this time, Hey, you might want to take a look at this um, one cap, all 50 States. Um, might be of something of interest to you. Well, I still wasn't interested in leaving my prior brokerage because like I said, number one agent left me alone. Um, Reasonable split paid about 1680 a year was never really about the money to me. If I was getting the value, I was, I'm not super concerned about what it's costing me per se to be at the brokerage, as long as it's a quality brokerage. Um, So my thought was I would stay at John L. Scott um, here, and then I would look at EXT for Texas and then Florida, Arizona, some other States I wanted to get licensed in. So anyway, I uh, asked him to send me a little video about five minutes in. I was like, oh, no, I this is too good to be true. Ran upstairs, got my husband. I said, Adam's on the line. We need to collaborate here and watch this. And about 10 minutes in, just hearing what I heard about our wonderful company, I knew it was game over and I needed to rip the bandaid off and leave my previous brokerage of over 19 years. You know, what's funny is Brent Gove uh, says, once you see it, you can't unsee it. And that's what exactly what happened to you and me. It took me two years and seven minutes. Two years of I respectfully declined, I respectfully declined a number of times. And then I saw it again and I my I was at an open mind and I saw it. It took me seven minutes into that nine minute video. I said, I am so mad at myself for waiting as long as I did. It only cost you millions. Years. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Yes. So <clears throat> let's let's go right into this. Give me, I, I got goosebumps even asking this question. So what gives you goosebumps about EXP? What are three of things? If you can narrow it down to three things, Gene Frederick was on the call a couple of weeks ago and he says, Robert, I've got a hundred things. I said, Gene, let's narrow it down to three things. So Kim, my question to you is give me the top three things about EXP that agents that are watching this need to know. Number one, collaboration. The amount of collaboration and sharing ideas and information is unheard of. Like it doesn't happen. And my old brokerage, I kept everything kind of close to the chest. I felt like they were my competition. I felt like if I gave them too much information in an office meeting or shared too much, they would take all my ideas and run with it and I'd be out of business. It's so not like that. People were like, everybody's so nice. They're friendly. They share everything. I was like, sure. I didn't believe them at first. I was like, blah, blah, blah. You're just trying to get me to come into the company. And then like, I met you my first month in the company in Colorado at that sprint event, which we earned the opportunity to be at. Uh, for sharing the opportunity with other agents. And so 35 days in the company, I find myself there sitting next to you, getting ready to go into, what was it? Um, the all-star game. Yeah, and that was great. Station and end up finding out that we're at the same event, become friends, spend the rest of the evening together. We drug you with us and um, spent the next three days in class and mm-hmm. now have a lifelong friend. And everywhere we go, we run into even Tijuana a few weeks ago. Yeah, the down to Cabo. That was fun, wasn't it? 
<laughs> I love it. So, uh, you know, so number one, just even that, that first day, that first EXP experience, you were right there with me, like literally saved the seat for me at the front of the room. And that really changed the trajectory of my career. I went in, met Brent Gove, met Jean Frederick, met Jesse Gow, making introductions to people, Dave Kennard, just really connecting with them and taking full advantage of the opportunity to then have them be able to pour back into me as I avail my services. So I would say number one, collaboration. Number two, relationships. The like, which kind of goes hand in hand with the collaboration. I think the collaboration is their willingness to show their playbook. The relationships are deeper, even though we're all around the country. I feel closer to my EXP friends in nine or 10 months than I ever did to my former brokerage that I was at for almost 20 years. And so I think the relationships and then the um, opportunity to mentor other agents and help them grow their businesses. I would say after selling 1500 homes and being in the top 1% for like 13 or 14 of those 18, 19 years, opportunity to help change other people's lives is unlike anything you have at a traditional brokerage. You talked about collaboration, you talked about relationships, but you talked about something that most agents don't quite get. And they, I've been in the business 36 years. And one thing I've noticed, like you said earlier, we keep a lot of this close to our vest because if we share too much, they're going to use it against you and put you out of business. But with eXp, I coach, train, and mentor 35 plus agents that are brand new in the business. But I also have a bunch of agents across the country that I get to train, coach, and mentor. And number one thing, introduce them to this wonderful opportunity, which that was never really an option at the other companies I've been at. So <laughs> you did $80 million last year in business. That's a big yes. deal. Yeah. And you're coaching, training, and mentoring on top of all that. Correct. That is, wow. I mean, you hit the nail on the head in the collaboration. We talked about our all-star game and our time in Denver. We talked about relationships and their lifelong relationships. When we go to these mm -hmm. events like Cabo and Dallas and all these places, every single agent we talk to, I know, because I'm with you a lot of the time, mm -hmm. they open up their, their, their war chest and say, here's everything we're doing. Take it. Absolutely. I'm like, are you kidding? That me? doesn't happen anywhere else. It no. doesn't happen. The other thing too, that's so crazy is being a top agent at the company that I was at, there was like, I hit the glass ceiling. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's great. So when I got to that office, we're the number one office in the whole company. I was number 13, eight years before. And I was like, oh my gosh, because the old office I came from, I was at for 10 years, same company, but different, bro different city. Mm -hmm. And I was number one, number two, number one, number two. I get there thinking you're all that big of chips and number 13. So I'm like, okay, I've got to work hard to get back up to the top. I want to be the number one. When you get to the number one, now there's nowhere else to go. I come into EXP. I'm not the number one agent at the brokerage. I'm middle upper. Not but yet. I don't know. I thought, those, are some, those are some big shoes to fill. I do not see myself on that arena. But um, but there are some people doing, you know, 16, 1800 homes a year on their team, making, you know, 300, 400, um, you know, um, well, sorry, was three, what is that commission? Like three or 400 million, 600 million, where I'm doing 80 million, they're doing 300 million, 400 million, 600 million a year, making, you know, Mil three, four million in commissions, right? Sure, yeah. So um, even though I was doing really well, I felt like I was capped at the brokerage I was at. Here, I'm always, I have an open playbook. I have tons of people to pour into me, but I have got unlimited potential as far as being able to chase people and feel like I'm motivated to keep doing better. And raise Absolutely. The you know, I, I figured this, you're, you're only as good as the people you surround yourself with. And I know this for a fact by, by surrounding myself with these fine people at EXP and the agents and the top producers, the icon agents, the, all these coaches and trainers and mentors and people that are just giving back from leadership to the top agents and everyone in between. It's just, it's an absolute game changer. So my question to you, Kim, yes. is first of all, I appreciate so much your time here. I know you're busy and I appreciate your time spending with us, but what's the message that we want to say to the agent that maybe is considering making a change or has not considered making a change? What do you want to say to the agent that's watching this? I would encourage them to really look at it with open, with open eyes. Don't be so closed off or like the stigma you're comfortable where you're at. You um, there's so much unlimited opportunity. I think as the market shifting and changing too, there's a couple of things. People are going to start leaning up their budgets a little bit as we head into this possible recessionary period. Number one, you're not going to find a better split or cap. The opportunity we have to earn our cap back in company stock is huge. Um, the collaboration, the financial rewards by sharing the opportunity is really a great way to also kind of 
had that uh, income moving into the next uh, market shift here that we're about to see happen. And so I think just don't wait too long. I think everybody's coming. It's just a matter of when. And so don't make the mistake that I didn't wait for a year or you waiting for two years. Yeah. You know, we've cost ourselves millions of dollars by waiting and a lot of lives that could have been changed earlier had we made the decision to move over sooner. You hit the nail on the head. The one thing that gives me uh, the, the most uh, gratification about the real estate business, I'm sure helping buyers and sellers realize the dream of home ownership or selling a home or but, but helping those colleagues of ours, the friends and family that we have in the real estate business, introducing them to a game-changing, life-changing uh, opportunity. So I just appreciate you so much. I can't wait to see you again. But until then, this is Robert Weichel with EXP for another episode of Weichel Wednesday. Thank you so much. See you soon.